welcome to another amazing international workshop by Tayos. Today we have with us Mr. Happy Patel, all the way from Dubai. He has been working on hydrophonics for more than 15 years now. Uh, hello, sir. How are you? I'm good, man. Welcome yeah, to the uh, workshop, sir. Thank you. It's a pleasure having you with us, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, so, as we all know, to the, the topic yeah. for today is hydrophonics at home. So, Mr. Patel will be telling us about how we can grow vegetables, herbs, and microgreens very easily at home using hydrophonic techniques. So, we are all very excited, sir, and very eager to learn more about this technique. Uh, but before we uh, go into the details, sir, we would uh, like you to tell us little about your journey, like how you started, when you started, and why have you chosen hydrophonics? Okay, uh, for me, uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, sir, we are not able to hear you, sir. We are... Yes, sir. I now. started my career from 97. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Continue. Hello. Yes, can you sir, hear me? Hear yes, sir. We can hear you. Please continue. Yeah. Uh, so, actually, I started my career from 96. I'm uh, sorry, 97. Okay. Yeah. And uh, first, in the beginning, I started uh, with uh, organic farming greenhouse farming like in the soil then after when i have seen uh, you know the, even though in india in all over the world uh, you know day by day land is going to be decreased and you know the population is still becoming high and uh, yes, you know the, when land becomes uh, low uh, land is uh, less how you are going to uh, produce more food on base of that i try to search uh, like for the you know the how you can grow without soil and everything so i started in india first of my first my project with uh, this uh, brickstone sand with that i try to grow some tomatoes brinjals like that after okay. that uh, when i was succeed after that i started uh, you know in that time you will not find this cocopeat perlite hydrostone vermiculite that you, you cannot find out. So I started with the uh, this bricks and sand. And uh -huh. when I success, then after I find out for light, cocopit, and I start in that uh, thing. Uh, okay. Uh, another thing is, uh, you know, so technically, if you will see uh, that time, People are not aware about this hydroponic and uh, when we are growing into soil, we are getting a lot of issues like a pest disease, fungal disease, bacterial disease, even though uh, like uh, you can say uh, production, when you are growing into open field, open area, you will get a lot less production uh, and uh, in some part. Even though, you know, the majority we are depending on the climatic condition. When we have drought or when we have, you know, the floody condition, yes. our crop is going to be destroyed. Yes. So yes. I started this hydroponic system. I, uh, you know, in the market, there is a lot of, uh, you know, uh, systems are available like Dutch bucket system, NFT system. So many systems are available. Yes. And from that, I started. Okay, sir. Amazing, sir. So, can you tell us little about, sir, uh, like how we can do it at home for uh, home gardeners if they want to grow something? How we can okay. easily grow it at home? Okay, for that uh, you can grow. There is a lot of techniques. There are techniques that I can show you. Here, here we have grown tomatoes, uh, uh, alapino that you can see in, in the my picture. Here you have, this one is jalapeno chili, this one is tomato, it is with the flower that I have grown in the Dutch bucket that I can show you. You can okay, see sir. easily. This one is rosemary. Uh -huh. Even though here I try to grow fig also, then this in this bucket, 
uh, you can grow this um, um, lettuce, leafy green. Here okay. you can grow in this one. You can grow like uh, uh, fenugreek, coriander, uh, microgreens that you can grow it. Even though you can grow turmeric uh, easily in the uh, dust bucket. You cannot find the dust bucket or whatever. So whatever uh, material you have, it, that you can use it. Because it, nowadays easily, uh, you know, the growing media is easily available. Like cocoa pit, perlite, hydrostone, vermiculite, that easily that is easily available in the market, so that you can use it. Yes, yes, sir. So, so can you tell us little, sir, how to uh, like make this uh, containers? How to set up these plants? Okay, uh, for me, I can say uh, like in your house, like you have a, you know the Dutch uh, this bucket. Yes. For we are using it in your uh, you know the washroom area. Yes, yes. That bucket, we can use it. We can fill with the perlite, a cocoa pit or perlite, which is available in the market. There you can plant it. Like uh, one bucket, in one bucket, you can plant uh, like uh, one chili plant, one tomato plant that you can do it. You know, in our house, there is a sieve that we are using it for, you know, the cleaning the, our grains. That sieve, we can use it for yes. our uh, coriander, fenugreek, then uh, this uh, microgreens, that see we, we can use it. Just we have to take it bowl, plastic bowl, uh, that can hold a sieve. You soak the okay. seeds and you put it on top of it and you can grow easily. Okay. So the seeds yeah. need to Same. be pre-soaked? Sorry? We have to soak the seeds before? Yes, we have to soak the seeds for the particularly for microgreens and uh, you know the, for the this kind of uh, fodder, uh, okay. like you can say fenugreek and uh, co coriander like that. That one is not a short term crop. For that you have to soak the seeds, so you will get faster uh, production. Okay, okay, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. In this type of box, you can grow even the lettuce, uh, leafy greens like uh, spinach, kale, lettuce. That you can grow it easily. Okay. So, can we have a, a closer look at the uh, container, like how it is, how and how, yeah. uh, like, let how the show, plants are let growing? Let me show you the closer look. This is the, you know, the this one is chili plant. You can see this media. I have it with the, you know, the cocoa pit, perlite, and hydrostone. This okay. is the hydrostone. Yes. You know, this white particle, you can see that one is the perlite and this, you know, the brown particles, they are the co uh, cocoa pits. This one is rosemary, same with it, you can see. So, th uh, these plants are, don't have the soil. It is only a mixture yeah. of cocoa pits, perlite they are completely, and... They are, yeah, they are completely with the only the growing media. Okay. Even though this one, you can, this one, uh, I, I, I have grown this barley uh, as a micro, you can see easily the roots. Yes, lovely. You can see only we have, we put it only this cocoa pit and perlite. Okay. Even though same nice. here, I use it for the turmeric only cocoa pit. Okay. Yeah. And here you can see, I use rock wool and water. Okay. So how is this uh, uh, like uh, grown, sir, from seedling or uh, from uh, uh, plant cuttings? Okay. Uh, for the fodder, like you know the uh, you know the greens that you can say that uh, we soak the seed, you can see, and from the seeds it germinated. Even though you can eat it, this one this one is hundred percent natural. There is yes. no uh, chemical residue. There is no insecticide. There is no pesticide. Anything. Okay. This one is very sweet. Whatever you are growing it into the soil, because this yes. one is with only water, and it it will be ready within seven days. Okay. Wonderful. Same, this lettuce uh, will be ready within, uh, you can say, like four weeks. Okay. Yeah. 
this uh, turmeric you know when you are growing it into the soil it will take near about 9 to 10 months uh, but here it is it can grow within uh, 7 to 8 months so it the cycle is less oh okay yeah yeah even though here in this pot this uh, rosemary can survive up to 7 years in same pot you can see this how old this plant is oh yes yeah, even though this uh, this one I planted newly this fig, but it can survive in this floor, uh, uh, pot like uh, seven to ten years, and it will give you fruit after uh, you know the one year easily. Okay. So for that we have to prepare the seedlings for like tomato, for uh, chili, rosemary, fig. There for that we have to prepare the seedlings first. After that you can transplant it. Okay. Even though for the lettuce, you can have to transplant the seeds after two weeks, seedlings. Only uh, this uh, turmeric, we put it bulb directly and it, it is showing it uh, the result. Okay. These sir. are the 15 days old. This one is one month old. This one is uh, three week old. This one is five days old. Oh. And this one is six week old. This tomato is seven week old. Uh -huh. This rosemary is uh, more than 180 days. You can see. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, sir, we are having a few questions here. Okay. Uh, uh, like, uh, people want to know, like, what all vegetables can we grow using hydrophonic technique? Okay, using hydroponic techniques, we can grow anything, even the tuber crop, fruit crops, vegetables, grains, microgreens, leafy greens, that we can grow anything. You know, you have to choose, you have to decide what media you want to use it. Coriander, uh, leafy greens, also you can grow it into the Dutch bucket or in the hydroponic. You can use it, uh, you can grow it in DWC technique, that one, that called DW, uh, deep water culture. Even though in NFT, you can grow it. That one is, you know, the pa passing water. Nutrient film technique, that call. Okay. And uh, even though you can grow it into the Dutch bucket also. Okay. It depends on uh, what you want to grow it and uh, what media you want to take it. Like I suggest, uh, like if you want to grow it, like, you know, the fenugreek, whichever is the short term crop, like 30 days old crop. So yes. better, I suggest you can use it like this uh, type of uh, things. So it can grow easily, like seal and bow. In that seal, you can use it, uh, you can grow like um, fenugreek, uh, coriander, uh, that type of crop. Here you can grow it, uh, you know, the kale, spinach, lettuce, there you can grow it. Okay. And long crop, like, you know, more than six, uh, six month uh, harvesting crop. There you can use the bucket. Better for us. Okay, sir. So, uh, any nutrients that we need to add, sir? Yeah, you can, uh, in the market, there is, you know, the organic, uh, now people are aware about the organic food. So, you can use the organic uh, material also, like, uh, you know, in the, this one market available there is a mar uh, availability sir? of the nitrogen phosphorus potash in organic form that then we can use it another, another we can use it uh, like uh, uh, you know the nutrient based like chemical based fertilizer also but whatever fertilizer and chemical we are using it into the uh, hello uh, so we we lost yeah. uh, your video sir we are not able to see you you are not able to uh, now, can you hear me? Yes, sir, we can hear you, but your video is not uh, uh, coming, is sir. Not, uh, yes, sir, now now we can see you. Okay. Uh, we just lost video. Even though you, we can use the chemical also, a chemical fertilizer also, like uh, in the market, there is the availability of, you know, the uh, calcium nitrate, uh, phosphoric uh, acid, uh, MKP, monopotassium phosphate, uh, MAP, monoammonium phosphate, that we are having it, that we can use it. In the organic way, uh, you can use it, you know, the vermicompost, vermi tea, 
vermi wash that we can use it it has a, they are the organic uh, they are in organic form even though so many materials are available in the market the which one is the, in the organic form here like we are using it for this fodder lettuce uh, chilies and for that we are using it organic matter like we are using some compost fertilizer vermiculite uh, sorry vermicompost compost then uh, there is a, some available uh, products uh, in the market that we are using it okay sir so we uh, we had a question from yogi uh, they want to know like uh, what is the amount that needs to be added amount of nutrients to be added okay for the dutch bucket uh, means bucket system i can say bucket system not dutch bucket system in the dutch bucket system uh, bucket system you can use it like you know the uh, nutrients like uh, uh, if you are having like uh, some uh, fertilizers like uh, vermi wash or vermi tea or vermi compost so that you can add it like you know per plant not more than 20 g 20 to 30 g okay yeah and for the chemical you can use it like uh, 1919 19, 19 or whatever there you can add some calcium nitrate now you know in the market there is a available uh, there is a, uh, some chemical fertilizers are available like uh, it is ready to use for your plant so the doses are like you know the 5 to 10 grams per plant okay okay sir that's uh, that's amazing so so uh, like can you tell us like how hydroponics is uh, better than uh, growing in soil and uh, why people should uh, opt for hydroponics and what are the okay. benefits of uh, hydroponic techniques okay now you know generally in the market when you will see an in our indian market uh, you know whatever the vegetables and fruits are available in the market they what they have sprayed what they use the chemi- what type of chemicals they use it that we don't know Yes. here we can use this uh, plants like you know uh, i am uh, i am telling you uh, i started with you know in my home area like uh, you know i use the square foot garden okay, okay. so in one meter you can use one by one meter that means 3 by 3 square foot 9 uh, square foot you can uh, you know grow nine plants uh, and in this nine plant like you know generally in our uh, family like you know four to five people uh, per family so yes. if you will plant it there like uh, two plants or one plant is for the tomatoes so it is like uh, ni- up to 9 months it will give you every day two to three tomato plant same for the brinjal it will give you so you will get the fresh food chemical free chem- residue free even the insect free yes yeah second benefit is you know you are using less water uh, less fertilizer you are saving uh, environment and yes is it to grow in your home condition yes so is there any special care so that these plants need just you have to check about you know their nutrient like uh, uh, when you will see your plants are you know the yellowish or whatever so you you know the enough sunlight or uh, you know enough water you have to check uh, water humidity Uh, then uh, you have to put it how much time you have to put it uh, uh, in the sunlight or in the shady area that you have to do it another thing uh, when uh, these plants we are growing it in the under uh, you know the under uh, climatic control area like you are growing it in your indoor so put it some light that led lights are available in the market uh, it called grow light and they are not costly like in india we are getting it that light like you know the in 100 rupees or 200 rupees that light and with yes. that 100 200 rupees light you can sur- that plant can survive uh, and uh, you know the like a quantity like uh, 24 to 30 plants can survive with that light okay yeah and maximum temperature you know any plants we have it uh, that for the vegetables you require temperature not uh, you don't require more than 30 degree temperature okay yeah uh, so all these plants can be grown very easily in indoor in the grow light we don't need yes. to place them in uh, the sun yes okay yeah. if you don't have you know like uh, in some areas like you know we have so very good balcony we have very good terrace so there there is no need of you know the uh, sunlight or whatever 
you know in our uh, you know like in uh, all over the india maximum in the summer only maximum temperature is going up to more of 45 40 50 in some part it goes up to 50 like nagpur or somewhere else yes. but majority of our temperature is not more than 45 so we can choose the plant like you know uh, like in the summer we can grow like uh, okra uh, brinjal that we can grow even though in our uh, you know in india we have uh, availability of uh, tomatoes even though that can we can grow in summer uh, bottle gourd bitter gourd that we can grow around the year now yes. people uh, you know people wants to grow like uh, bitter gourd or uh, bottle gourd so even though that they can grow it here okay with yeah. hydrophonics yeah okay so so uh, like uh, how do we start uh, uh, is it same like when we are planting for uh, the soil we tend to water propagate a few uh, stems or we get some roots and then we plant them into the uh, soil is it the same with this hydroponics yeah like uh, i can say uh, for the lettuce uh, when you seed it uh, in your some you know you have to use the cocoa pit for the seeding or rock wool but in india we have you know the availability of co rock, uh, cocoa pit so we can use the tray we can uh, fill with the cocoa pit we humid it like uh, more than 100 percent water leave it like that then after you seed it and cover with the transparent plastic it will grow within three to four days it will germinate then after remove the plastic and then uh, you know leave it for two weeks they will be like this and then after you can transplant it in your uh, bucket or uh, any pipe material which you can prepare it that i will show you later uh, i will show you the picture uh, how you can use it that uh, pipe for the growing okay so uh, this one you can grow it easily uh, yes sir so if we have to uh, uh, we have to buy this uh, uh, container sir that you are showing for the lettuce because it looks uh, a little different it's not a normal yeah. box yeah this one is not a normal box but you can prepare it in your house also i'm not saying you have to buy it from the sources because this okay. one you are here in ue this material i bought it from china in, in India, you know, it is difficult to buy from the China, yes. right? So for that, you know, I, even though for that I have a way, what I have done, you know, uh, we are finding some plastic containers, closed container. Okay. Right? So, you know, there we have, you know, the plastic cup. We prepare the plastic cup like this. You can see easily yes yes sir yeah you can cut it like that so you know the this media uh, either rock wool either cocoa pit so okay. they can you know the uh, root can develop there is yes so that you can use it is uh, in the plastic container but size has to be minimum uh, you know the five to six inch okay depth is minimum five to six inch easily for this one i i told you before you can use uh, this uh, seal. Here. Here, I can, you can see, uh, you know, you, you have to use the sieve and, you know, the plastic bowl, which can hold the sieve. There you can grow it. So all the material you have in India, we have it surrounding us. Bucket, sieve, plastic bowl, plastic, plastic container, container that you can use. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. So uh, uh, this uh, this method of uh, lettuce that you're uh, showing, we can prepare it at home by uh, cutting holes yeah. and uh, making those cups. So can you yeah. give us, a, uh, the viewers, a closer look at the box, sir? So if somebody wants to make at home. Yeah, sure. You know, this one is, you know, the plastic container. I use it. Okay. okay. You can see, you can pre prepare a hole like your, you know, the plastic cup size hole. Okay. So you can easily 
put it here inside there is a water okay it's only water inside yeah only water but you know after some time you know today i transplant it so to, by after three days i will use some fertilizers okay yeah okay sir so uh, what all plants can be uh, grown uh, uh, with this uh, box sir here you can grow like uh, you know all the leafy uh, even though some even the tomatoes you can grow it here chili you can grow it here okay. because the depth is enough so you know the root can develop easily here yes but, but i suggest here you can you grow leafy like kale uh, spinach that you can grow it okay so first we need to uh, use the seeds for uh, germinating the plant and then we uh, transfer it to the yeah hydroponic box yes i will show you later how we are growing seeds also that i have it you know in two state there is a we have uh, you know the seeding area one is okay. the small plants another one is you know the uh, one week old plant that i will show you okay sir great uh, so is there uh, like uh, 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 a time where, uh, when we have to change the water or we need to add more water and how many days we need to add water or change it is there something okay. like that okay in the bucket we have to check humidity if we can see you know when we uh, i will show you here here this one when you know humidity is like this there is no need of water okay yeah here uh, you know in leafy uh, in uh, fodder like uh, you know spinach or whatever we have to grow it here we are growing it here in this part there you don't require you know you don't have to change the water okay because they will be ready within you know uh, within 7 to 30 days yes yes like sir. coriander will be ready within 15 days fenugreek will be ready within 30 days uh, mustard that we said that green mustard we are eating it yes. that will be ready within 15 days uh, another microgreens are ready within 7 days so just you seed it and you give them water okay it's enough here whichever is more than for you know three weeks crop old crop there you have to change the water every two week okay yeah here just you have to add the little bit water you require the soil is you have to check so soil is humid or not only that thing okay okay so as you said for coriander so uh, we we can just soak the seeds for coriander and then transfer it to the sieve and it yeah. will grow uh, yeah uh, what you have to do you have to take it cotton cloth yes you put it some coriander seed uh, you know the, you have to make it in two piece coriander whole coriander seed you have to take it even though that one is in your house it okay kitchen. that you have to make it in two okay and then you soak it in that cotton cloth leave it for the 6 to 12 hours Overnight is better. In the morning, you leave, uh, remove the seeds. Just you spread it here in the in your seal and leave it. And give them, you know, the enough, uh, you know, the uh, like coldness. Like you know, the, the, it required like you know near about 25, 30, uh, 25 maximum 35, 25 degree. Okay. It will germinate within three to four days. Okay, sir. That's great. Yeah, because uh, like uh, when we're growing uh, kitchen gardens, the main thing uh, what we want to grow at home are microgreens or these herbs, coriander, mint. This is what a lot of uh, people like to grow at home. So they can uh, harvest it fresh and put it in their dishes. Yeah, sure. Uh, when, you know, microgreens, you know, when people are learning, to grow how to grow in hydroponics so they i am suggesting them they have to start with the microgreens okay like they can start you know the barley wheat they soak it and they put it in and so they will grow faster and you you know now you know in india there is a trend to uh, drink that you know the the juice from the wheat and barley 
fresh yes. juice in the morning yes. so they can grow it easily here yes and nutritious that one is very nutritious and they just they have to remove it like this and they can eat with the seeds and roots you can see yes you can eat it whole when you are growing into the soil suppose you have to cut it from here yes right but yes. here you can prepare juice from the, uh, this whole part even the roots are also healthy oh, you know top green part is also healthy yeah these and are this just one like is, you know, the sprouts the leaves of uh, seed also that you can eat it yes sprouts for salads and uh, yes like chaat and some things like that yes 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 this is wonderful sir any other tips that you want to give to our viewers sir who are uh, new into hydroponics who want to grow their uh, vegetables okay you know tips uh, as a tips i can suggest you know they have to prepare small uh, you know bucket they have to take it bucket or uh, bowl they have to uh, they have to soak the seed like depends because you know the seeds whatever them weight they, uh, they have it like uh, you are taking it <clears throat> grain grams or barley or wheat they are absorbing the you know the humidity more than them weight it is 60 to 200% more that we have to consider that point before growing anything so for that you have to soak compulsory you have to soak your seed when they are you know when you when, before whatever the seed size when you soak it it will be almost double yes after that you have to plant it so it will grow fast it will give you fast production that is the best thing yes sir so uh, we have a question from rajeshree she is asking can we grow potatoes yeah here i can grow turmeric you can see i am growing turmeric turmeric is you know the 9 month old you know it is 9 month crop and yes. tom- potato is only 3 month crop okay so there but potato requires cold temperature that you have to consider it okay <clears throat> so uh, uh, can you uh, tell us uh, sir briefly how if somebody wants to grow potato how they can uh, grow like uh, when we are uh, growing in soil what people do is they just uh, insert the whole potato into the soil and it grows okay for that i have an idea even though that i, I have done in my own terrace in india I, basically yes. i am from baroda so and uh, you know in cold weather on my terrace what i have done you know the plastic tub i took it plastic tub before i bought it you know the potato from the market i put it in the cotton cloth and i put it in the fridge that lower vegetable tray yes yes for a one week okay so they they sprouted yes after when they sprouted after that i remove it and i cut it in the pieces which you were you know the, like you know in one potato i got it like you know 3 to 4 sprouts so i cut it in the you know the similar size that three power and okay. in one tub i fill it with the you know the uh, like coco peat perlite and uh, i use some uh, you know the the river sand and i uh, mix it fill it with that tub and i plant it in one tub uh, you know the big size tub like 20 inch size tub Uh, and depth is uh, 30 cm okay uh, in that tub i planted uh, like 20 potatoes and i got okay. it like you know the uh, from 20 potatoes i got it near about 12 kg wow that is wonderful yeah so 20 potatoes means you know i got i took it like you know the 500 g potato okay yeah so in how many days uh, uh, is the yield ready sir uh, for potato you will get the yield within uh, 100 to 100 uh, 120 days you know automatically okay. plant your plant is going to be die that means your potato is ready but you can ready. grow it only you know uh, this is the right time for the planting okay so you will get it yield uh, in the uh, february march yes yeah so uh, just like this potatoes can you mention all the other plants that are uh, suitable to start growing in this season 
in this season you can plant it tomato uh -huh. potato brinjal uh, sugar snaps snow peas uh, that butter yes then uh, you can do it so you can try some herbs also like coriander uh, celery parsley uh, rosemary basil thyme that you can grow it okay great sir uh, so this one more question yeah, from Rajesh yeah uh, yes you uh, watermelon you can uh, you know you can start planting uh, from uh, february you have okay. to seed it directly into the bucket and you can do it and flor flowers you can grow any season in our, in our in, uh, india but for the roses you, uh, for the roses uh, like chrysanthemum lily gerbera that you have to do this is the right time for the planting okay thank you i think rajeshri you got your answer thank you so much sir so yes. uh, uh, so you mean to say sir flask also we can grow with this technique yeah okay even though when i was in africa we were growing uh, roses uh, and uh, you know some mixture plant uh, plants like you know the the filler that we can say filler for the bouquet okay that we uh, that we were growing it only in hydroponics Oh, okay. Yeah, rose can survive up to seven years, and it will give you uh, per plant uh, every forty days three to four plant uh, stems. Amazing, yes, sir. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, sir. Uh, what else is there that uh, we can show our viewers? Yeah, let me uh, show you my uh, you know indoor farm where we are. I'm growing it uh, lettuces. So you will uh -huh. see better, even though I'm growing it with the lights. Let me show you. Yes, sir. You can see this one is my hydro, uh, you know, the container farm. Here we are growing it, you know, the lettuce. Only lettuce we have it. Here I have uh, Lolo Rosso. Butterhead, you can see my butterhead size. This is a three week old plant. Oh, wow, beautiful. You people are hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you, sir. Hello. Sir, we can hear you. Sir, we can hear you, uh, we, but we just lost your video. Now here you can see this uh, butterhead. Yes. Look at it. This one is three week old. Okay. So this what is, is uh, inside that cup, sir? This one is my uh, lettuce. Uh, I germinated here. This one is one week old. This one is uh, uh, four days old. After uh, five days, I'm going to transplant this one here in this area. This one is a Batavia or some oak leaf on top of it. Here there is a oak leaf, here there is a butterhead. You can see. Yes, sir. Amazing. So these uh, little cups sir, that you have shown, uh, what is inside these cups? Is there We've lost connection with you, sir. Hello, sir. We are not able to hear you. Uh, we are not audible, sir. We can't hear you. Can you please check your mic? No, we can't hear you still. No, sir.
Hello. Hello. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I show you some of my butterhead. They are three week old uh, butterhead, uh, Lolorozo. Even though I show you, you know, the, my seeding area, there I am growing it, uh, you know, the, there is in different state, there are some seeds, which uh, seedlings, uh, which are, you know, the three days old and then uh, it is seven days old seeds. That I will uh, transplant it after two weeks. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, sir, you were talking about uh, like uh, how uh, people can make a hydrophonic system with uh, PVC pipes. Come again. Can you explain a little about that? Your voice is too low, madam. Sir, earlier you had uh, told us that uh, you can show people how they can make uh, their own hydrophonic system using PVC pipes at home. Yes, 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 yes. I can show you just a minute. I will read it. Yes, sir. Here, here I come with my PVC pipe that you can see. Here, yes, you know, this yes, is the PVC pipe. Just you have to prepare the hole. You have to prepare from the inlet, just you will pass the water. Here, when you prepare the hole, that you know, this one, this cup and hold it here. Okay. And you can grow anything in this area. Like, okay. you know, if you have a long time. Uh, like you know, if you a balcony, like you have it, uh, like you know, five feet, five feet balcony, you can put it right on the ground and you can prepare a hole every 20 cent, uh, 30 centimeter, 20 cent, uh, 20 centimeter, 30 centimeter hole in uh, that distance, uh, hole, and you can plant it in the cup easily. And water can pass through this part so they can germinate it easily. Okay, yes, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. That's wonderful. Yeah. Any question? Do you have any question? I will show you another pictures if you want it. Yes, sir, sure. Uh, so, sir, can you, uh, like, uh, until you uh, find your pictures, can you like tell us a little more about uh, uh, the pipe system? So you said uh, the water has to flow through it. So how uh, yeah. one can make uh, water flow through the water, uh, through the pipe, sorry. Okay, uh, you have to use, uh, you know, the small pump. Okay. Uh, when you prepare a hole, uh, every 20 centimeter, uh, cup size hole, yes. just you seal it, uh, you put it some, you know, the half inch pipe, you put and it can recirculate water. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's that's an amazing uh, advice. Yeah. Here I will show you that picture so you, you can easily see. Can you see my screen? No, not not yet, sir. Yes. Now can you see my screen? Yes, sir. I, yeah. I'm sharing some pictures here.
So we can't uh, view your pictures. Yeah, I, I, I'm opening it now. You can okay. you will you can view easily. Uh, we we lost connection to your laptop, sir. I think it will connect it now. Can you see? No, sir. Okay. Still, you cannot see. No, sir. Uh, the screen is blank, sir, right now. Yes, sir, we can see the screen now. We can see some pictures here. All here you can see this one. Yes. That's lovely. This one is actual hydroponic system that uh, you can use it. Okay. Yeah. Look at it. How we prepare a hole in the pipe and we prepare it. Okay. So this is uh, the proper uh, commercially used uh, hydrophonic system. Yes. But this one is in my uh, home. I prepare it for my home in my okay. garage. Okay, yeah. that's lovely. So, what are these little uh, seedlings that are growing on this, sir? Uh, there is a, you know, here I grow it uh, onion, uh, then turmeric, uh, ginger, even though some leafy greens, lettuce, then there is a, some tomato plants. It is like okay. that. Yeah. Uh, there was one more picture, sir, with the diagram with the water pump. Can you uh, show that once again for the viewers to have an idea of how it works? Yes, sir. This is the one. Yeah. Yes. Can you explain a little bit about this? Okay. This one, actually, whatever I show you in container, yes. this is the same idea. Uh, under, uh, you know, uh, at the bottom of the, uh, that uh, NFT system, there we put the tank. There is a pump. You know, it circulates the water. It you know, it passes in all the NFT channel. It recirculates the water. It went down and it is collecting in the down tank. Here we have nutrient tank. You know, that one is uh, giving nutrient to the our tank, and it is dosing to the complete all this. You know, the five layers. Okay. Yeah. Here but for the container, we are using carbon dioxide also because the plant require carbon dioxide also. Yes. So, but this is something very uh, like technical. If somebody wants to grow at home, then how uh, they can develop this? This is the picture, how they can develop it. You know, this one, I prepare, at the end, I put it some tea and I join all the pipe 
but here you can see how you can use it you know how you can cut it even though you can prepare for the single pipe also at the bottom you put a tank some two loop uh, pump you can use it that recirculate the water okay yeah i have some uh, look at it here i have grown ginger you can see there is a pipe i cut it fully and here i grow this ginger okay that's nice wonderful yeah this is tomato in the you know the group as that plastic bag whichever is available in the market yes there is a different type of hydroponic system big system uh, ebb and flow nft system aeroponic system deep water culture there is some different techniques here you can grow like tomato even the in your bag you can see how big the plant is and how uh, big that bag is yes so what There is the impact same uh, media like uh, cocopeat perlite like that i will show you you okay. can see from the, in this chili plant you, there is you know the cocopeat and perlite you, you can zoom it and you can see it yes i can see it show you look at it yes sir so what is the proportion uh, of uh, mixing these things sir you know whatever you are finding it in the market like you are finding only cocopeat there is no need to mix it anything if okay. you are finding perlite and cocopeat both you have to use you know the 60% cocopeat 40% perlite if okay. you are finding hydrostone or clay uh, cube uh, so you have to use it 60% cocopeat 30% perlite and uh, 10% uh cube that is the clay cube or clay ball you can say okay this one is cucumber wow and this one is sweet melon oh wow fruits also yes you can grow fruit also and that one is in the bag only ha huh? okay you can see you can see there is a bag yes Uh, but these are uh, out in the sun uh, sir exposed no, to the sun no these are the, in the greenhouse we grow it commercially okay okay, okay. but that you can do it in your balcony oh. because your balcony height is minimum 8 feet and the grow bag size is only 30 cm that plant can grow easily like this oh, okay okay that's wonderful yeah. amazing this sir this is, was This one is in the you know you can see uh, that uh, bag only. Yes, yes, sir. So there you can grow any you know in the hydroponics you can even though you can grow saffron also. Okay. Control environment. Yes. Okay, so that was uh, wonderful. You guys have any question? Uh, so it was wonderful seeing all the plants that we can grow using hydroponics. So uh, we yeah. just left with five more minutes, sir. Uh, yeah. can you uh, do you have any tips or any special message to give to our viewers who are trying to grow their hydroponics uh, garden yeah uh, sure uh, when you want to start it you have to check the quality of the seeds which seeds you are using it uh, some seeds you have in your house like for the microgreens uh, for the you know this uh, salad crop Uh, that use it that your own seed even the chili seeds you have it in your house that we are using that uh, dry chili that one is the authentic one that you can say organic one okay it don't have the pesticides residue or chemical residue it has it but when you are growing it in your home you can grow it easily secondary when you are buying you know the seeds from the market make sure they are the, in the right quality second how much water you have to give them that first check it second you know the check your fertilizer what you are using it 
check your uh, you know the spray for the you know the pest and diseases uh, check it are they harmful or not okay okay in the beginning when we are doing it make sure that seeds has to be soaked if either it is for two hours three hours it depends on the you know the uh, which seed uh, which plant you are growing it okay hmm? that you have to do it uh, you know you, you have to check it okay that was a uh, very helpful uh, tip sir thank you so much uh, for joining Welcome. us today and uh, sharing all the valuable information with us i'm sure everybody must have enjoyed this session and learned a lot for, from you today and uh, i'm sure everybody will try you uh, growing more vegetables and herbs using hydroponics Uh, so uh, to all our viewers who have joined thank you so much for joining us uh, if you need any more information on hydroponics you can uh, message sir on uh, his facebook page and you can also check out his uh, books that uh, he has written a handbook on uh, organic farming and hydroponics uh, we have attached uh, the links uh, in the description below and you can also find it in the chat box or you can reach out to us and we will guide you uh, to him so uh, it was a wonderful session sir and we are so grateful to have you today and we are really happy to learn uh, so much from you thank you thank you very much thank you sir welcome Okay so we will be ending now. Okay, yeah, okay sure. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Welcome. Bye.